Each week we check out a new gun museum. We call it the Firearm Museum Tour. A big part of our Gun Show Loophole Tour is checking out the firearms museums around the country. And we know that they're all interested in getting more visitors and more awareness. So we're going to help by featuring a new museum each week. Let's start out with Dragon Man in Colorado Springs. So Dragon Man moved out from the east somewhere to Colorado year, decades ago and started his shop. He has a huge facility just east of Colorado Springs with dirt bike tracks and paintball fields. He has some shooting ranges and a huge gun shop. In addition, he shares his collection of military memorabilia, vehicles, and firearms. And as that collection has grown, it's turned into, I think he calls it the Colorado Military Museum. And it's available to the public uh, with a private tour. Uh, Dragon Man has probably the largest collection of military memorabilia. And he takes you on a two and a half hour tour of the collection. And it's amazing if you have an opportunity to get to Colorado Springs or to uh, add Colorado Springs as a stop on a, any kind of trip you're going to take anywhere near the area, I can't recommend enough that you take the opportunity. One experience at Dragon Man's is amazing. If you have a chance to go back more than once, do it because the collection is real. It's his collection and he's constantly acquiring. It is still growing. I've been going to the museum now since 2017 and each time I go it's larger, literally larger. He, he builds more to the building each winter when he closes down for the winter. It costs too much to, to heat the place so he closes down and he expands the building. He grows the collection and adds new areas to the museum. The tour grows. So uh, experiencing it once is amazing, and if you're able to go back and experience it more than once, I highly encourage you to do so. It is not a static museum that you experience once and are satisfied with. I hope that this is a great introduction to this series. Uh, Dragon Man's is by far the most unique and most impressive private collection, hands down. As far as the military museum, it's one of the best. Uh, arguably the best and the experience is second to none. It is completely unique uh, although as we go on in the series you're gonna hear me be enthusiastic about other museums because uh, while Dragon Man's is unique it is not the only way to experience our firearms and our history. So with this series we'll focus on a new gun museum each week. We hope that you'll leave us some comments wherever you happen to see this video, if it's on gunstreamer.com or if it's on theguntube.org or one of the other places that videos get posted. Leave some comments. Be part of the conversation. If you've visited these museums, leave us some description of your experiences and let people know uh, what you thought. And if you haven't, uh, ask questions. That's all about the conversation. I want to thank our Patreons for the opportunity to put time into these videos. I wish I had more time to devote to this. Uh, I've spent most of an afternoon on this one, and it actually glitched out on me, and this is the second version of it. Uh, but as we have more ability, we'll spend more time on these. I've visited some of these museums multiple times. I literally have pictures of every single firearm in some of these museums, most of these museums. Uh, so I'm looking forward to spending more time in the future uh, talking about and sharing the experiences with these awesome pieces of history that are available to us across the United States. This one is Dragon Man's. It's in Colorado Springs. We highly encourage you to check it out and uh, we're looking forward to the comments. Thank you for your support and as always, thanks for watching. The guys and gals at gunwebsite.com encourage you to take a CCW course every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day.